Hello everybody, Tony with Referral Auto Group. Today I'm going to take you through a 2019 Shasta Phoenix 298 RLS. This is 33 foot 10 inches in overall length, weighs about 10,200 pounds, unloaded, empty weight, and this thing's loaded with features. So I'm going to go over each of them, but not all of them. So make sure you come out and check it out if this interests you. I couldn't go over everything in this video and keep it short enough to where you watch me till the end. We're going to start here in our outdoor entertainment center and kitchen. We have a grill. A shelf, a refrigerator, and a 52-inch TV, conveniently located under this door outside for your viewing pleasure. We have a four-point auto leveling system on this unit by Lippert. It's the Ground Control 3.0. We have two Dexter axles with the Easy Flex suspension between. We have our solid step by LCI to go up in there. This is a staircase, not folding steps, which is very, very sturdy. We have a we are pre-wired for solar backup camera and a WineGuard 4G LTE Wi-Fi extender. We also have the Weather Shield insulation package. So this is a four season coach. We have Asdell construction on the sidewalls. If you don't know what that is, check it out. But basically there's no wood that this exterior fiberglass is glued to. It's a fiber board that is puncture resistant, mold and mildew free, with three times the amount of insulation factor than the Luan board that it has replaced. So check it out, there's a lot more to it. This has an enclosed underbelly in four foot sections that is heated. The four foot sections, the reason I bring that up is it is the maintenance guy's dream. We can take down a section and get in the area where we need to be. We don't have to always cut holes in the underbelly. We have our power awning with an LED light strip up against the side of the coach, which means you don't have to have your awning all the way out to access the light like many manufacturers require you to do because they put it in the roll of the awning. We have our full pass through storage with one inch thick storage doors. We have our UV protected gel coat exterior in white with the gray and black graphics. Now the side walls on the slide, the wall here in the rock guard, and the very back wall are very light gray for great contrast. As we round around the front, we have our turning point technology front cap that is fully painted. So the black and white is paint. Of course, the Phoenix and the stripes are stickers. Everything else is paint. You won't get that ashing from the gel coat breakdown over time. There's your plug right below the vent here in the front for external solar panels if you choose to do so. We have a 10 gallon water heater with 50 amp service here on the side and our exhaust for our furnace. Up above we have two ACs that are both on a thermostat that are ducted and a true two zone cooling. Very, very comfortable and plenty of cooling power. We have a 13,500 BTU up there in front and a 15,000 BTU here in the living area. We'll keep going around the back here. We have our hitch for our Bike racks or accessories, whatever you want to put on it. There's your bracket for your backup camera that's pre-wired for. And a ladder that goes all the way up onto the roof and a full walk-on roof. Here's our third slide. We're back in familiar territory and we're going to go inside. As we go up the staircase, I want to point out the top landing step. We have the smaller steps, the first two, and then the top landing step is extra wide for removal of shoes or so you don't get a running start coming down the stairs when you're coming out of the trailer. As we walk in, we have residential style flooring, the new flooring for late 2019 models, the new countertops. You have the new Furion glass front oven that is countersunk into the countertop with the glass top with an all new style of grill. Totally redesigned. Really, really cool. Nice and updated. We have our 30 inch microwave there. We have a 14.7 residential refrigerator that is driven by a 1,000 watt inverter already installed in the trailer. It powers this refrigerator plus the small one as you're going down the road. As I spin, we have our freestanding dinette with both storage and chairs and tabletop with a flip up leaf. We have our fireplace, which is a fantastic heater. We have another 52 inch TV here in the living area right across from our Thomas Paint Theater seating done in the fawn color interior, which changes the balances so these valances come with the fawn color and there's different valances that come with the other color interior known as Camelot. That is the darker color. There's plugs everywhere in a Phoenix. We've got a plug here at this end of the couch. We have a plug here at this end of the couch with USB ports. This sofa is a tri-fold sofa. It is the most comfortable to sit on and sleep on. You don't have a folded mattress that you're sitting on. And this fills in, it's basically a foam bed. As I turn, we have our Thomas Paine Theater seating with four cup holders. Sometimes you just need four. As I keep turning, we have our island there with the dual well stainless steel sink. Again, there's our 14.7 cubic foot residential refrigerator and our Furion cooktop with our glass front oven, our 30 inch microwave. We have a plug here at the island. We have a plug even over there by the chairs. We have a plug here at the table. We have a plug there on the counter. 
Now let's talk about the pantry. On the pantry here, we got nice deep shelves and we even have a plug in the pantry. Don't know why, but there is one. As we go upstairs, we're gonna notice that we have solid surface stairs, no carpet to be broken down over time and start looking tacky. This is where it's gonna happen is on the stairs, if you've ever noticed going into some pre-owned units. And then the toe kicks are done in carpet, not wood, to keep the marking to a minimum. Actually, none. We have a nice grab handle here. As we walk into the bathroom, we have a residential size shower at 48 inches with a trifold glass door. Nice skylight above the shower. We have our fan for exhausting all the steam or anything else you might want to exhaust out of the bathroom. I don't think I need to go there. Here is a porcelain bathroom sink. That is not plastic. That is a residential porcelain bathroom sink. We have a porcelain bowl toilet. As we go into the bedroom, oh, this also has a pocket door. So the door is not pinning you against the wall while you're trying to get in the bathroom. It slides nice, neat, and cleanly out of the way. I hear a train coming, so if you know my videos, I always have trains coming by, so I will keep talking loud. We have a residential size queen bed, full 60 by 80. It's not a 60 by 75 like a lot of RVs have. We have windows across each side of the bed for a nice cross breeze. We also have a window here at the foot of the bed for a little foot breeze. We have a residential style dresser. We have a total of three wardrobes. The two on the left and right with the mirrors are for hanging your clothes. You can also hang your clothes in the center one if you choose not to install a washer and dryer with the prep that this unit comes with. It is prep for a washer and dryer. We have plugs at both sides of the bed. So CPAP users, we have them down here, charging your cell phones, nice little cubby under each wardrobe. As I look over here, there's our second plug. Plugs everywhere, lots of room around this bed. There's our thermistor for our second AC. That little device on the wall talks to the thermostat so zone two stays at your desired temperature. I said it was a true two zone AC unit and it is. Two ACs, both having their own zone. As we walk through here, we have our wine guard, 4G LTE Wi-Fi extender prep with the power switch, very easy to install. There's our two zone thermostat. Go down the steps, I have my whole control panel. Everything on this coach is electric. We have electric slides with each having their own slide switch, not hydraulic where you have one switch that puts out all slides as they feel like going out. You have full control over that as well as the landing gear. So all of the auto leveling is electric as well. And don't think that electric is not as strong as hydraulic because it will still lift this complete unit off the ground. But it's very user friendly if in ever you have a problem you can retract those jacks far easier than you ever could think of doing with hydraulic. Plus you have no fluid on board, you don't have a supply and return hose, just a much cleaner system and a lot more user friendly. Kind of pan around here, give you a lay of the land. I'm gonna spin and take you in this cabinet where we have the one control. The one control will allow you to control your auto leveling, do any calibration of the auto leveling, also houses some manuals and how-to videos and troubleshooting videos. It's a pretty cool, little upgrade. All of the glass in these cabinets are a textured glass, not a frosted glass. And I bring that up because it's very important because in travel, when something falls and hits frosted glass, it makes a mark that you can see on this side of the glass. This is a textured glass. That's not gonna happen because we can tell you that stuff is gonna shift. We know that's gonna happen. All right, let's go back outside. And go down, there's my big step. And then it gives me a fair crack at these smaller steps. All right, everybody, this is our 2019 Shasta Phoenix 298 RLS. It says auto leveling, two ACs, outdoor entertainment and kitchen, fully enclosed and heated underbelly, Dexter, axles with the Easy Flex suspension, fully painted front cap, power awning with an LED light, prep for solar backup camera and your 4G LTE Wi Fi extender. The list goes on and on. Fireplace, residential refrigerator, glass front oven, solid step steps, true four seasons, Asdell construction. Try and find something in this price point with all of these features. You even have a spare tire, it is underneath. Give us a call, 209-404-2200. Check us out on the web at www.referralautogroup.com. As always, we're not strong arm salespeople. We're not gonna hustle or hassle you till you buy. We're gonna educate you and leave that buying decision completely up to you. If that sounds too good to be true, come check us out or ask somebody that's been here. As always, we are a full service facility. We have our service center that caters to the needs of our clients as well as on-site financing, parts, and supplies. As always, thanks for watching. We truly appreciate it. We look forward to meeting you. Take care now. Bye-bye.